hi guys welcome to today's tutorial yeah as just as the topic states we are going to be teaching you how to make a three layer satellite fascinator and for you to be able to make this three layer satellite fascinator there is need for you to actually have a pre-knowledge or a knowledge of how to make a satellite fascinator with that it will be easy for you to learn but not to worry we already have those videos on our channel so I'll be dropping the link in the description box below so you can actually have access to all those videos so we have two types of satellite fascinators before this three layer satellite fascinator came into existence we do have the one of a single layer and the one that you just have to squeeze and tie up to form the brim now aside from all this i would also encourage you guys to um have make sure you watch those videos before you watch this and if you feel you can watch this before going back to the um to the videos i was talking about no problem so these are the pictures of what we've snapped before and after editing now before we jump start or we kick off with the tutorial of course you know what's on ground if you are yet to subscribe please do us a favor to click on the button right beside the, that's the subscribe button and um, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell right beside it to also get notified every time we upload our videos all right and remember subscription is free all right now we have three rings here you can see already we've started the tutorial now and we also need a cutter for people that don't know that this is what they use in cutting millinery, please, the cutter is also used to cut millinery. And also, we need a paper tape, which we you saw us use to seal up or join the wires together. We need a bias. We need um, this um, shiny material. It's a um, very it's elastic in nature. So we also need the scissors, and of course, do not forget your needle and thread is essential. So of course, and uh, as the um, tutorial proceeds, uh, as we proceed with the tutorial, I'll also be showing you what else we need for this tutorial. All right, you can see now we need a U gum, and um, of course, this is about to finish, and. Um, you need to get a new one if you're about to do such a thing. Now you can see the measurement of the millinery wire we took, and I hope you've seen it. One is uh, 37, the other one is 49, and the last one should be 61 inches. I hope I'm right. So now you can see now we we'll also have another form of material we'll be using. We'll be using the black for the middle um, millinery wire, and we'll be using the ash uh, or shining material with um, we'll be using the first millinery wire and the third millinery wire to do those ones i hope i'm communicating all right so you can see work in progress that we've pinned them and all that and now we've sewn them round we've sewn the brim round and now it's already formed you can see how it is and for us to actually learn how this act happened that is why i said in the beginning of the video you have to see watch the satellite fascinator we've made in this channel we have two the two types of satellite fascinator they are all in our channel so do endeavor to click on the link i as i provide it in the description box below so now we already have the rest and this is how we will actually be placing it you can also do either way you can flip it around and place it that way whichever one that suits you but for me i'll be placing it just as the way you're seeing it now and the next is actually to see if we can actually start tacking it by the time we tack it all together we cannot proceed in the stitching so every single thing here has a method of doing it so you can see how i'm placing it and um that is what it is and um we have to get a needle and thread you can see i've already run my needle and thread already you can use a fishing line if you so wish if you so wish so now you see what i'm actually about to do by the time i'm done knotting it i'll have to sew round at the center of these three brims or three layer brims so that i can be able to hold them down and also form a circular shape so i'll be stitching round i'll be stitching in a circular um direction at the center of these three layers in order to hold them down and be able to create a hole for the crown so this is just what it entails and i hope you guys are enjoying the video and if you are really enjoying the pre video please do not forget to give us a thumbs up like and share the video and also keep watching 
keep watching you understand so you can see i'll actually be fast forwarding all i need you to see is um how the stitching goes so that to save our time that is why i'm actually fast forwarding but you can see that the whole thing actually played out it's not like i'm jumping the procedures or protocols so basically that is what it is so when you are done all you need to do is this stitching this needle and thread is just for us to hold the three brims together you have to still run it through a sewing machine so that by the time you're cutting off the center of those brims they don't flip off or have give you difficulties i'm noting it here if i don't want to tell i'll just say give it a normal stitching please if you give it just needle and thread stitching you might find it difficult holding them together by the time you call the cut the center off so our advice my advice and that is what i actually did here after using a needle and thread to stitch round you understand to sew round i still had to go and sew it with a sewing machine at so least the, the stitching see? the needle and thread stitching so helped to get, guide me uh, while i'm actually sewing with a sewing machine so you can see the finished work i've so sewn with a sewing machine here yeah. i've sewn it with a sewing machine here so now i'm actually removing the excess threads and afterwards i can now comfortably cut off the center piece of the spring and you will now see how it looks so now i have my tiny pedicure pedicure scissors here which has a sharp pointed mouth that was what i used to create a whole force then i used the bigger scissors to comfortably cut off the excess part i don't want so or i didn't want whichever one <laughs> well that is just it so when we are done cutting when we are done cutting all we need to do now is just to get a petersham ribbon or a bias whichever one if you have one you are good to go just cover up the parts you've cut of the rough edges so that you can comfortably place it on the crown and stitch off so you can see what it is now now imagine if it's just needle and thread stitch that you did here of course it won't stay so firm like this you know that so now i've gotten my bias i will show you how you should run the bias after putting the bias all you need to do is pin down so that by the time you're running through the machine or you want to just give a hand stitch and um, there will be no difficulties while you're doing that so you can see I've actually pinned down my bias to the points to cover the hems of the brim so that um, sewing or gluing or stitching will not be difficult so now you can see the finished work here uh, of course it's not too neat as I expected but I'll still be covering it with a Britishem ribbon or a buyer strip whichever so this is our mode it has been blocked we've blocked it and um, of course I used a paper mat in between so that um, it will look stick um, strong and stiff you understand so now we finished off the base and of course we'll be covering the parts we don't want to show off so i will be using a, a u gum and a bias strip to actually do that so when you are done covering of course all we need now to do is after covering be comfortable enough to place your brim to the crown or place your crown to the brim but i think this this time is actually place your brim to the crown because it's not like the crown is going to be sitting on top of the brim so it's actually the brim that will be sitting on top of the crown so that is just it so when you're done with that you i will also be showing you guys how i actually glued i ran out of my i ran out of a uh, u gum so i had no other choice but to use a hot glue gun but if you are using Using a hot glue gun please be careful so that it does not give you a very permanent stain that you wouldn't want so that's that aside and then um and also if you are as you're gluing your bitter sham ribbon or your bias strip to cover up the uh, rough edges you should also consider the use of pegs because when the gums are not actually or just to save your time instead of holding them down as you're gluing you're just using your pegs to hold them down you understand so this also helps to save your time of um 
using your thumbs to actually hold until it glues up so that's just a tip i feel is going to be necessary to every millionaire that is watching so that's just it you can actually see what um it took me to actually do and um of course when it came out it came out very nice and beautiful so that is just what it entails i know someone else someone is quoting me this time because anytime i just say that is just what it someone will say entails <laughs> but all the same it's just what it entails all right so that's when we are done with it of course we'll have to move to attaching the crown to the brim or like i rightly said before uh, placing the crown the brim on top of the crown not um the other way this time so and um for us to do that you have to determine which part is the front and which part is the back that was what i was actually demonstrating while you were watching and when you then um, do that if you're of course if you are very confused place the crown on your head then of course place the brim on top of the crown that will also enable you know how you want your fascinator to be just after making it you understand so when you are sure of the position you want it to be get some pins because of course i used i use pin a lot get some pins and pin them down so that you can actually be able to glue them comfortably without something shifting or something you understand it's very important so these are things i tell my trainees so if you want to know more subscribe to our training program it's just one month and one month you are good to go except if you want to also increase in your knowledge by click and um, taking our advanced programs all right so if you're interested in the trainings please do not forget our number is right on the screen you can copy it now copy it now so that you can actually chat later all right so when you are of course you are done with it you can see now we are using a, a hot glue gun with a candle gum or a stick gum whichever one you call it so when you and you can see that at this point the minute i put it takes me for it takes me few seconds or some minutes to actually make sure it's all glued together before removing my hand from there and of course you can see we can actually use peg here because there is no way the peg can actually we don't have larger pegs to go through the brim you understand so this is what you continue to do and for every part you glue make sure you hold it down till it's dry because by the time you remove your hands from it it's automatically maybe creates a hole and um, you know it also creates a, a, a messy a more messy look that you wouldn't want your fascinator to have so and after each glue when you get to where the, you pin down comfortably remove the pin do not forget the pin before it dries up there and becomes difficult to pull out so this is what you continue to do and afterwards and i think after this one we don't really have much to do except if you want to try to embellish yours with uh, something else you know feathers some flowers you understand but i think for me i'm good to go with this i'm okay enough paparazzi but you know the slave mass in the house who want to do oh my god you know what's coming ha huh. you, you really need to know what's coming you know all the slave mamas say hi all right so when you're done of course you can either use some feathers to embellish you can use um, some uh, flowers artificial flowers to embellish you can even create loops from cinema or paper mats to embellish or you can even create bow from a, a similar fabric you used here to also embellish whichever one especially right behind under the brim you understand those parts that shoots up you know all those things i'm giving you ideas so that you don't just replicate exactly what you're watching now so just try to be more creative make it a little bit different so that it can speak that your brand in it all right so thank you guys for watching and um, you can see how long it took me to make sure that this uh, whole thing sits well before removing my hands off it so now i'll also be showing you guys how i was able to wear them and also for you to also know how best to wear Just your hats 
I shouldn't think like all this fashion design. Alright. Okay, so let me just try it on so you see how it looks. Okay, so so this way or let's turn this way. Okay, so but if you feel this is going to work for you, you can also do the same. 